Good afternoon, everybody. It's Kathy Arbor here. Another uh, live stream. Um, I'm going to be talking to people in chat. So if you're not one that likes to chat, please lurk. If you're new to the channel, um, press the subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And uh, as soon as we get some more people in here, we'll be starting another sketch of ink and watercolor. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas holiday. Um, I had mine a little bit early, uh, the dinner and uh, gift giving. It was fun. All my uh, kids were here and grandchildren. Um, so it's kind of a relaxed day today for me. And I'm all turkey out. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but oh, I love turkey, but it makes me so tired. You get the turkey coma. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> hey, Janet, Shauna. Yeah, but it was a good turkey. I had a really good turkey. Had a lot of fun. And the weather, um, not all the snow melted, but it didn't snow or rain. So that was good. So it was good traveling weather. So I hope everyone enjoyed their holidays. Hey, AJ. How are you? <laughs> Well, you're just in time for a live one then. Hi, Michelle. So I'm was thinking about, I don't really want to do Christmas, Christmas, because it's kind of over now. So kind of, um, I'm thinking about the new year. So I was looking on Pinterest at different, ideas about winter and um, the new year, bringing in the new year, that type of thing. And um, I came across the dash hounds in really old, like 1919 um, cards. And I just fell in love with this one of uh, a little dash hound turning or ripping off the calendar page for the new year. It was cute. So I thought I'd do that today. Hi, Elaine. So it's, uh, of course, I have a dash hound love because I have a dash hound. <laughs> and you can't help but love them. <laughs> they have the sweetest little faces. Oh, and they're such characters. <laughs> yeah, you love yours too, Shauna. So I thought that's what I would do. And I'm just going to do it on this one. Uh, I think these are five by seven um, papers. Uh, I don't have a ruler out here. But I'm pretty sure these are five by seven. This is B paper. And I'm using going to be using the smoother side of the B paper. They're, the other side is a little more textured. Um, myself, I'm not crazy about texture in my watercolor um because the water the pigment does pool in the um lower sections so it gives you a kind of you notice the texture more i myself prefer hot press paper this is not a hot press paper um it's a cold press but if you um, get any kind of watercolor paper, you will notice there's two different um, finishes. One's a little smoother than the other side. And you can use either side. Oh, greyhounds. Oh, yeah. They're cute, too. They never relax? I thought they were kind of docile. Maybe it's because I don't, the only ones I've seen are the really old ones. <laughs> hey, Jilly. So this was what we did last week, and it was a snow scene. And quite a few other people 
um, Janet and Lena, and I'm not sure if anyone else did it. And it was fun. And it was out of this book here, the Creating Textures in Pen and Ink with Watercolor by Claudia Neath. This is such a wonderful book, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. And um, I, myself, like the pen and watercolor combined. Um, you don't necessarily have to use pen, um, but I just like the look of it. It just gives it that a little bit of extra um, texture, a little bit of shading. I love this. Can you see the background she's even done in the um, pen? Just very fine lines, but it gives that a real atmosphere look. Um, you want to run. It, oh, it wants to run. I thought you want to run. I thought, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, they are a running dog. So, yeah, I can imagine. Have you got a, have they got a big yard in the back for them? Oh, that's good, Janet. You had a nice, quiet, relaxing holiday. Nothing wrong with that. You just ate fancy food all day. <laughs> hey, that's what you do on holidays. And then you get so tired of it. Oh, there's so much leftovers. I'm pretty well done my leftovers now. Thank goodness my son was here because he ate most of it. <laughs> my sister's coming up. Uh, after New Year's for a little while, so that'll be nice. Run through the house. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would drive me nuts, Eileen. <laughs> I like my dash hound because she loves to burrow in. <laughs> All you need is a big comforter folded up, put it on the ground, and she goes in between the folds, <laughs> and that's where she sleeps, <laughs> and you don't see her for the whole day. Or if, you ha if you're on the couch with a blanket, she's under the blanket with you. <laughs> They're so funny. Well, one time I took her to my sister's and they were, her daughter had just um, packed a bunch of bags full of um, kids' clothes that she was bringing to the Salvation Army. And I, we went out and um, my sister's uh, daughter stayed and she heard this muffling, wimping, and she thought, what the heck? And she went upstairs and found Coco had ripped a hole in the bag, in the bottom of the bag, climbed in <laughs> to the bag, and then couldn't get out. Thank goodness she found her. She was smothered. She's such a, oh. She, she's so funny. Yeah, they're racers. <laughs> All right, so I can't show you a picture because it's on Pinterest. Um, but we're going to, I'm going to draw it out. And um, basically it, it's, it's, um, a wall but it's very very um there's no texture on it and then there's a a little uh, big calendar page up here with the number 31 on it and then um, the dog is standing up with his paw against the wall trying to bite the page <laughs> and then there's some uh, looks like ivy or um, maybe holly um, falling down on the side here and across the top. So that's what we're going to do. And it has a big, big ribbon on the calendar part. 
Um, uh, now, I know Logi does have a way of putting picture in picture, but I haven't figured it out yet. So I got to figure that out so I can do that. Um, but uh, I won't try it right now. <laughs> Kim. Good to see everybody. You're probably all like in half turkey comas <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to open one window here so I can see what I'm doing. Let's see here. Okay. So put a little and remember this is a sketchy um, loose it's not finished drawings it's just a sketchy type of uh, and just make a, a three here. If you go on Pinterest, I think it's under um, vintage cards, Christmas vintage cards is where I found it. Um, you might be able to find it there. Um, and if you got any questions for me, just put it in caps so I can see it. Okay, so we have a little nose here. My eraser. Hey, Gail. So I'm just uh, lightly sketching out the pop. Big old ears are going to be. Some of them have really, really long. My dog doesn't have the real extremely long ones. Hers are big, but not like some of them. I do love the real long ones, so <laughs> they're so cute. Let's see. And there are little paws, okay, big paws. And little tiny legs, little elbows. And they have a really big chest. And the thick little leg, back legs. Right 
Little rump. I have <laughs> cute little bums. Just trying to pay attention here where everything is. their little tails. Now I'm going to put a bow on their neck. And let's see. Let's bring this zoom this in a little bit so I can see it. Can't really see the eye because it's black, but you get the gist of it. And neck. A little bit of rolls because they do have rolls. <laughs> All right. hot dogs. Yes, they are. Now this one has actually two dogs. One's laying on the ground <laughs> kind of playing. Let's see. And there's a, a ribbon up here. And then we just have a little bit of, looks like, um, big pieces of holly from the look of it. Of course, holly wouldn't be that big, but it's a Christmas card. Not necessarily realistic. Cute. So you can make them whatever you want. A few berries here and there. And a piece of... They're just kind of um, prickly looking. And then I'll just throw some berries on here. Mm. 
No, it looks like, uh, it's weird. Looks like um, pieces of clover. Maybe that's to signify good luck for the new year because they're four leafed. It looks like. Can I always have some good luck. Not going to hurt to put that in. And maybe one more there. There. And then looks like I could have made it a little bigger, but I didn't. Um, Because spine there. Little elbow. And let's see. Put that in a little bit. Just a little muscle there, I guess. There. All right. All right. Now, let's see. We'll move this. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I'll bring you guys in a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. There. All right. Let's see here. All right. Well, I'm gonna get my paints out. Let's see. I'll bring it over here. Like so. use because it's such a small area I want a fairly small brush because most of this is going to be done um, wet let's see it's an eight. Towel. Okay, we'll start off with the dog. Um, let me see. He's just kind of gray and black. Let's see what I got here. Don't know if I have any black or not. So 
this one. That's raw umber. Mm. Could use raw umber, I think. What's this one? Um, Pearling green. Check my other box. There's something darker. Uh, here's a Mars black. Could use that. This one. Shadow violet. Paints. It's a Payne's Gray by Windsor Newton. Let's see what that looks like. It's, yeah, it's pretty blue. But we could add a bit of black to it. Sometimes it's nice to have um, not a straight black. You want to add a little bit of color to it. Just gives it a little more life. Okay, and we'll just do a very, very light wash over most of them. Um, this is a black velvet watercolor brush. Um, There's not a whole lot of, sh of highlight, like bright whites in this. So if I do need to do any really bright white, or not bright white, but highlights, I can take some of this out. Or I could even um, go in with a bit of uh, gouache. I just want to give them a bit of color. And don't forget, we're going to use some, some pen. So I can also use pen to um, darken areas also. So this is just something you would do in your sketchbook or a card. Um, your, your junk journals. This would be cute for part of your diary part. Um, so now I can go in with a darker if I wanted to. Be darker in here. And down the spine a little bit more. Into his shoulder blades. Around the bow. And this part of his. Down a little bit of his paw there and across his butt. He's, you want a shadow um, to emphasize the muscle in his legs too. Um, they really have muscular legs, these little guys. You gotta make sure they're they are muscular or they have back problems. A 
gue lupa. And down his leg here. His front paw can have some too. Show where his toes are. And then this, I'm going to do a little bit darker in here. Little paws and around his ear here. And down his nose. Is that blurry for you guys? It is? Okay, let me check. Let me figure it out. Focus. Let's see. Hmm. I don't want to. Uh, I wonder if I have my camera too close or too far away. Because it doesn't seem to want to. I'll have to play with it. Probably uh, when I'm done here. It just doesn't look right. I do have another camera. I just haven't played with it yet. It's a camcorder. And it's all a whole new other ball game of <laughs> doing stuff. So I'm going to have to play with it, see what I can, because it's supposed to have fantastic zoom. And that's one of the Canon camcorders, uh, Vista, I think it was called. Oh my gosh, Eileen, that's terrible. Well, I do know that emergency, here anyways, emergency, when I worked at the hospital, um, the holidays, it's a skeleton crew. So 
it's very difficult to uh, get anybody. And not, there's literally no doctors. <laughs> so I don't know what it is like for you guys, but it's terrible here. So just uh, coloring these in. You can always go back and put some uh, highlights and shadows in, either with your your ink, or you can go back in. As long as you're using um, waterproof ink, you can go back in and um, put your highlights, or not highlights, but your um, shadows in. Yeah, I remember when I worked at the hospital, they, there was this one doctor who was at university, Western University Hospital, and um, <clears throat> he was a great doctor. He, um, he was a brain surgeon, and <laughs> on the holidays is when he would come in and do emergency uh, brain surgery on patients that couldn't pay, um, that were on, wait, on a waiting list, basically. Um, and uh, <laughs> the hospital would get so mad at them. But that was the time when all the ORs are empty. No one's doing anything. He was a great doctor. Dr. Drake was his name. He's gone now. Hey, Lori. And just going to put a really light wash on the paper part here. Um, let's see. Better move that. Let's see what it looks like. And it's got some um, probably do most of it with the um, pen. But it does have shadowing. Just do a bit around here. And then some twigs. Grab my berries. Berries, nice and dark. And some shadow in here. And around the dog.
And let's put a one in here. A little bit more, I think. Can... I think I'm going to put a, no, yeah, that's all right. All right. So dry that with my hair dryer. There. Okay. So I'm just going to put this aside for now. And then I'm going to get my, I wonder if I prop up the books for now. So you guys can see it a little closer. Try something. There. How's that? A little better. Let me see if I can. Fix the focus a bit. I guess that's going to have to do. I'm going to have to play with my other thing for sure. Okay, where's my, I got to find my pencil. All right, now we're going to take a, zero, a point zero 0.05. Just make sure your, your painting is good and dry. And we'll just add some sketchy lines. So this is when you can add your more of your detail than just the watercolor. I really like this part. So it'll be bunch of papers behind here so we'll add a little bit of thickness and I can put 
a lot of the shadowing with the pen. And you can do as much as you want or as little. Because this is when you get to play with detail. I like detail, so I like to put a lot in. It's just my thing. But if you don't like doing it, it's nothing says you have to. Just going to add a little bit for the underside here. Underneath it be a little darker. Where it scrunches together, it would be darker. But I just like that look. I think it's really neat looking. And then I think I'll just come in with um, a signal or maybe even my white pencil. I'm not going to fully draw out the, um, what is this, holly? I like it kind of sketchy looking. You have the stems as much as you want. You can make a bunch of different ones if you if like real scratchy looking. Maybe there's some ones that don't have anything on them. As long as you just kind of give an indication of it's a leaf <laughs> is what I like to do. It doesn't necessarily have to have every line, and every, you know, vein and that type of thing. So is everyone thinking about their uh, New Year's resolution as far as art? Did you make an art resolution? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Because it would be more fun to keep an art resolution than all the other stuff. But that's just me. Thanks, Eileen. It's cute. I saw it and I fell in love with it. I'm telling you, if you're in a mood of some sort, just go on Pinterest and look up dash hounds. Oh my God, they're so funny. I was sitting there just laughing. Some of the antics that get into, like, because <laughs> they're such bur bur burrowers. They're so funny. And they were really popular in the um, early um, 1900s. Um, a lot of... Uh, um, Important people like kings and queens and um, 
even in the mid-century of the 1900s, um, Marilyn Monroe, um, Kennedy, they all had dash hounds. I didn't know that. They're too cute. You can't say no to them. Those little eyes of theirs, they just melt your heart. So I'm not doing every little bit of line. I'm just um, an indication. And it depends how, you know, everybody does it different. Uh, I want cast to use some gelato. No way. I don't own gelatos. I used them at Karen's and I thought, oh, I don't get it. What's, what's the, I don't get it. There's so many other things I'd rather use. They move on you. So that was a pain. They're expensive. I just don't see the what the people like in them. <laughs> yeah, they are, Debbie. They're a waste of pigment. You like them, Shauna? Those things should be banned from me. Oh, okay. I was just going to say, good Lord. She, she having a, <laughs> a lapse in, in her mind or something? Or... <laughs> Okay, let's do this little guy. Hopefully, I'm not, I haven't got my hand in the way to his little nose. A little eye there. Still have to give them away. <laughs> well, save them for your grandkids. It'd be cool. They'd use them up real quick. <laughs> They're so soft. Wait for the summertime. T take them outside. And then give them to your grandkids to play with. See what they can do. And then take some pictures. Or um, collage. Digital collage. That'd be cool. Oh, Carla, you like them? Well, I guess there's always somebody that's going to like something. Hey, okay. Just because you don't like them, I guess it's not the rule for everybody. I just don't see the point in them myself. Because there's so many other things out there. Okay. 
just go over a bunny. Little bow in her hair in his I don't know if it's he or she on her neck. I'm gonna call it she because I got she dogs. Chloe, you go upstairs. Go see Mikey. Don't be bugging me now. You got him upstairs. I'll just do a little bit of craft um, cross hatching in the uh, really dark, darker, dark areas. It's a rounded butt. And his spine here has a little bit. Go we'll see Mikey. Go on. Dark sections of the ears. You guys seeing this okay? Hope I'm not totally in the way. Crying. It's difficult. So just a bit cross hatching. Where the dark, dark areas would be in the shadow areas. Just emphasizes the shadow a bit. A bit more. overload. So then I can put a little bit of line here to show that's the ground level.
Um, What else? A little more shadow in here, maybe. what I've done so far. See? Okay. Do a little more there for his eye there, I think. Just to show it. Then, I think I'm going to just use white So I'm just going to light some areas in the I guess these are um, four leaf clovers is what I'm guessing. And this here might have a little bit shiny because they're usually shiny, holly. And then a, just a dab on the berries to show that they're shiny. And maybe the ribbon. And his ribbon or her, her ribbon. There. So just a bit. And then what I'll do is on New Year's Day, I will write about the day here. So I'll put a, um, some writing in here. So what I can do is make some lines, um, if I can find a ruler, and I think I'm just going to put Thin lines down. Thanks, guys. So, I guess. Let's see. Maybe I better do it in pencil just in case it's crooked. Because that would drive me nuts. Uh, 
I don't have a template. <laughs> so something like that. So just a light line. I could probably um, let's use a stencil on this. Spruce it up a bit. There's those stencils. There, remember I got these? I'll put it on the... And then I'll get... Where did I put my paint? And we'll use a sponge, wet the sponge a bit, and color, maybe, hmm, maybe green. And then I'll just sponge it on the bottom part. It's just going to be very faint. See how faint it is. Some spots. Oh, did you join that, Eileen? I joined that many, many, many years ago. And I didn't care for the stencils I was getting. Um I would rather purchase what I want instead of getting a bunch of stencils I'm never going to use. But that's just me. And it was expensive for me because of the shipping. There. Do around the corners a little bit. There, see? Blend it in a little. Okay, let's take this box so we can see it full. There. So we have a little bit of color see? from the stencil, and then I use the sponge to smudge it along the edges. So let's dry that. So I can put this in my um, journal for a daily, you know, my daily journal type thing. And that'll be the start of next year. <laughs> yeah, I like her little butt, too. Dash hounds have cute little butts. They had some really cute old fashioned cards on Pinterest. Um, look them up. They have one called, um, oh, what was it called? And they were the cutest. It was a magazine, a US magazine. Um, oh gosh, what was it called now? Well, let me look. I gotta look. And they had the cutest um, 
Let's see. Calling All Girls, it's called. It's a magazine. Um, doesn't really say when they came out. It was 35 cents. <laughs> oh, 1958 is the one I'm looking at. Calling All Girls. And it's a comic and stories, it says. But they have the cutest covers for the front page. There, see? So just a little bit of... And then I can write about things. I could put um, the the year up here if I wanted to, or stamp it with some stamps, but I think it's cute. Ooh. Now, when I, when I was, um, this was, gosh, it's got to be like seven, maybe 10 years ago that I, um was getting their stencils and it was costing me back then $35 a month so I don't know what it would be now yeah and you can write it in say red pen would be cute so you can add all of these to uh, make a bind a book with them, or um, whatever. I'll show you the book that I knew I didn't keep it up. So this could you could actually start writing on the side here too, and use this. So you can use these as a daily page too. So you just um, do your writing on this part. I'll show you one book that I, I used uh, last year, but I never finished it, of course. And it was mostly um, collage. So, this is about my day, the year. And it was collage and drawing. So, you know, <laughs> my sister, when she was sick here. They put, there's the snow we had. <laughs> that was in December. No, January. We were packed with snow. And then I always, when I would drive into the city, I would make a little car. Um, just little... Little reminders, I bought my grandson some Hot Wheels. The sun, temperatures I would put in, little quotes. Groundhog Day. <laughs> Valentine's, that's when they got their puppy, so I drew the puppy. So I collected anything really and I, I would put uh, washi tape on all the uh, edges and this is all lined and and it's not um, um, sandwiched together it's all individual sheets so I just get a stamp for the some of them ran but it didn't matter because it's just a journal of uh, my goings on and a lot of this stuff is just like this stuff here it's just from um the dollar store that i picked up you can add things You know, I put uh, stencils in the background with ink because I wanted to use my ink up because <laughs> I haven't been using it. And 
Yeah, it's hard to like uh, in actually a lot of these I found that um, I didn't want to come down here every day and do this. So what I did is at night I would write down any highlights of the day in a separate journal. And then once a week I would come down here and look through my collage and and look, then write everything down and put it in a – so it was kind of more like an art thing instead of something I had to do every single day. So I really enjoyed it, doing it that way, instead of having to come down and – um, think up things. But these were cute. I did enjoy doing it because it's a different way of creating art. Um, it's using up your scrapbook stuff. Um, <laughs> I did. Th I love doing this type of thing where you add a bunch of stuff together and make little pictures <laughs> yeah because uh, I can't just you know have a set time each day because you want to think about, you don't want to rush it and then just do something and then not like it. And here's the Chloe on a couch that I drew. <laughs> and so you look through your books that you have sitting, collecting dust, and you cut out, could be anything really. Um, I got pencils and that's my grandson and granddaughter about that day when they were snow day so you can put pictures in um, all kinds of stuff family get together Christmas so you know just before you go to bed, um, it doesn't have to be a long drawn out. It could be just something that you can, so you remember the day. So something to remind you of that day. So I, then I just, uh, come down once a week it could in and, and you don't necessarily have to do it for every day maybe there's nothing special that happens maybe you were at home all day and just watch tv well you're not going to want to put a page for just watching tv so what i did i just wrote down the special times maybe it would be something uh, very weird in the weather so you'd want to write about the weather um, maybe um, a special re recipe that somebody gave you or, you know, something somebody did for you that you thought it was so um, nice. See, and then I stopped. So this has to be, um, this was just sprays. Now, this is when I use, the only time that I use the um, dilution sprays and the Lindy stamp sprays. So I do my backgrounds first, just to give some color to the page. And then I do, I have it set. So then I can do any um, ephemera on top. Now you could use these too. You could make them a little smaller depending on your size of your book. And you could put these in too. And, you, and what you can do also, if you find something that you really like, a uh, picture of something, photocopy it so that you have an extra and you can either draw them or um, do a bunch of, of other stuff. So I've got, a, I've got a, a book full of stuff that I need to do in here yet. But because I was so busy, I just didn't 
I haven't done anything here since March. Uh, thanks, AJ. Yeah, because you don't have to do it every single day. That's That was my problem, and I think that's probably Dee Dee's problem because it feels like a chore, and it shouldn't be. If you like doing art, and I do love this style of journaling, and I do enjoy coming back and reading it again. Um, so... I, that's when I decided I don't have to do every single day. I'm just going to write down in a separate book. Even if it's, even if it's like, oh, I had coffee with so-and-so. That's all you have to put. And then, um, I you like going through magazines or these are napkins here and I just put little hats on them. So, um, it's fun. You can just do it when you want to then. And at least you have your um, written down what happened on that day. And, and you just feel, you know, it's a good way of when you're, you're stuck and you don't know what to do. Um, some people get into their um, journals and they just don't know what to art. They don't know mixed media or drawing or whatever. And they don't know what to do. Get this out. It, it does get you going because you're bringing out color and you're cutting things and you're getting your imagination going for this is kind of a mix of, of um, journaling and art sketching and um, uh, scrapbooking all in one. But I had a journal. It would be so boring. <laughs> well, if you some well, some people just can't. They don't want to do it. But um, instead of thinking, "Oh, well, I don't do anything," then maybe start doing a gratitude journal. What are you what are you happy for? What are you grateful for today? Um, or you could do a news journal. What happened in the world today? That type of thing. If you want to do this type of thing, maybe you don't even like doing this type of journaling. But I like this because it keeps your creativity going. So this would actually be an excellent way of doing Dee Dee's journaling. Um, on New Year's. This is probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue doing this because I do enjoy it. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. And um, also it's a, uh, it's a good way of just keeping your mind going, <laughs> especially when you're retired um, and if you don't have any hobbies, it can get boring. I must admit it can get boring. And I'm really, I don't think I'll ever get bored, but because I have too many things I want to do, but for the retired or, or empty nesters, I think that's a really great way to start being creative. So many people don't don't know how to be creative. They don't know where to start, especially in mixed media. This is a great way to start. And then you can morph into a whole mixed media page instead of doing your writing. Maybe uh, this is a very similar to what this is, but this is all drawing. So you're, you, she's doing her day by drawing it out. So again, it has a lot of thinking. It may not be that fantastic of a day. Maybe she just did the laundry or made something different that day for supper. And then she puts it down in the, um, the weather for the day. But it looks cool and you've done something creative. 
My, uh, my nephew has done one every day for at least 50 years. One of us. Oh, wow. That's amazing, Dot. Wouldn't that be something to see? Oh. And none of you have seen it? Is he younger or older than you? <laughs> Maybe you'll get to see him when he, he's gone. Wouldn't that be an awesome thing for, like, th this is one thing I think of, too, is this would be an awesome thing for my kids to see. Because so many times when my mom passed, there's so many things we learned after that I wish I knew more about. And I think this will teach your kids who you really were, your thoughts. And you're, if you're, you know, who cares what they're reading? Because you're going to be gone. They can't do anything about that. So I think it does, does them good to read your thoughts and your worries and your, in your happiness. Okay, what did I miss? I found a new book that you and Janet have to pre-order. It is watercolor and mixed media. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Are you tweeting it, Eileen? You can't say stuff like that, you know, and, and then keep us in suspense. He's younger. He's 72. Uh, well, maybe... Maybe he'll soften up and let you look at them. Is it just writing? Do you know? Did he tell you about it or did someone peek in and notice it? <laughs> yes, I have to find it. Okay. <laughs> Is it? Will it be a good one to um, uh, do a paint along, Eileen? Is that what you're thinking? Because I want to do more um, paint-alongs, and I want to do more of these. I really love these. And I think I'd like to start doing the um, textured ones also, these. These textures, how to do textures. I'm not sure how great it would go over on the Internet or on the YouTube algorithm, but <laughs> I think they're interesting. No idea the cover looked good. That's all you saw was the cover. Jeez. <laughs> oh, she calls you ten times a day. Yeah, I guess you know we're never really satisfied. And we really don't understand until they're gone. And that's when it's, I wish I had a, comes in. So enjoy. Don't look at the, the negative side of things. Look at the positive side of things. No, I have seen him writing in it from a distance, but never been shown it. Ah, be very interesting. Not even his wife? Wow. Wow, oh, that's amazing. So is there anything else you guys want to do? Because my son's here, so he can let the dogs out. <laughs> Neither has in. Yeah. 
What would you like to do? Five, five, seven. What's that? Yo, you just trick. Here we go. She just tweeted. Let me look. <sighs> Beginner's Guide to Watercolor with Mixed Media. Oh. Yes, that could be interesting. Ah, we'll have to check that out. It does look nice. I have a book that's similar to that too and it's watercolor and mixed media um i'm not sure where it is right now though could be upstairs too um yes yeah, she's living up to her name for sure So is anyone else supposed to be on today? <laughs> Janet. Oh, there was something I saw. What was it? And I was going to try it. Now I don't remember what it was. Hmm. No one else is streaming today that you know of. What do you guys want to do? I could make more of these. Make some, some of these up. You can watch me do that. Do something. <laughs> oh, geez, thanks. That helps. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's start this then. There we go. We can do some stenciling. Now this one, I because my book is getting pretty chunky. It's not bad, but because I'm doing the edges on, on with tape. Um. I have been cutting out a couple pages and leaving them like that. I ordered some cloth earlier, but I'm not sure. Let's go through. Spray some pages. Yep. Do that. Okay. So we can I can use some of my new stencils that I bought. Chloe, you go upstairs with Mikey. Mikey's there. You go upstairs. Go upstairs. a little bomb. All right, so let's put some sprays. Let's get the sprays out. Got a box of them. Holy moly, it's dusty. <laughs> let's see. I need to, I have another cart that I haven't put together yet. I really do need to put that together.
Now, what I've been doing is sticking to um, a color combination for each month. So March is green naturally because it's um, let's see. We'll do a bit of yellow maybe in it too, or gold. I also have dabbers we can do. And Moon Shadow Mist. And then we can, um, you don't necessarily have to um, do your writing and then your um, pictures. You can do your pictures too if you wanted to and just leave space. I'm going to have to get a stool. I really should have had a bigger <laughs> table. There. All right. Let's see. We have this tree stencil. So that would kind of look cool. Like that. So let's see, we can put Lindy's, what is this one? Edelweiss Moss Green. Ah, uh, yeah. And now, Should. I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to put it on top of the paper. No point in wasting a good stencil and ink. So I just put it on top of there. Pat it down and I can use that. Oh, I remember what I saw. I saw someone using um alcohol inks on the jelly plate with magicals and clear matte medium it was really cool there look at that so that's the negative and the positive I probably have enough to do the other side too So we'll dry that. So this has got a bit of shimmer to it. It's pretty. And then I've got this one again. And I could put it on the bottom here. That would look cool. And let's put a darker color on. Okay. 
And let's put this over here upside down. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is just for playing in here. Just to add some color. It's more up here. Some specs. Just to use it up. All right, so we have two, so I can get some more tape to put on this side in the green. I bring my cart over, all my washi tapes and the scrapbooking for this. So if I want to, I can uh, just play with it. So that's the, this I got at um, Dollar Store. It's kind of neat. Where's the edge? If I can find the end. There it is. And I like to put some glue stick on it. Just so it sticks. It is fairly sticky, but I always find it better to put the glue stick on it. And then I just put it on halfway. Do it this way. Try to get it on fairly straight and then you just fold it over. There, it just gives a little something a little nicer to look at and then just cut it there. Now it was March. So see a, a lot. Of, I think I just did, let's see, February was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So March will do four, I guess. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be all green all the time, but I thought it was kind of cool to, to keep the month one color. Okay, so let's see. What can we do for March? March is um, still winter, but it's starting to get nice out. So I have my, I don't think I have a block though. So I'm just using the black ink for the, the months. I don't have a block. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. And we'll just put it right here. Here. 
put it back so I don't lose it. So what can we put in there then? And see, I've got all of these. So we can use some of these. These would be pretty. I have the green and the um, yellow. Let's use one of these. Loves pretty. They're just the flower. Believe in yourself. Let's do the flower. Well, these have sticky backs, so that's good. So I'm just going to put it underneath. I'm not a scrapbooker, but I do love the stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Eileen. Now we could fancy this up a little more. And put in... We've got some pretty um, washi tape here with some feathers that would be pretty let's put that those two there washi tape put some uh something something then so we can use writing in here I like to kind of alternate too so you know you might have a, a something here over there um, or separate the days or whatever is kind of neat. You have all kinds of this stuff. This vellum paper. Could use those for writing on too. Bubbles. some stickers here a birdie told me that's cute it doesn't have to mean anything either um, if you're putting it on, it doesn't have to necessarily mean anything that you're writing on that page. It's just to fill in, just to pretty up the page.
you know, see, we might be getting some snow yet in in March. So this will be the first week in March. We usually get some pretty good snowstorms in March. So let's put some snowflakes on. These are from the dollar store. So we can put, take one of these. Let's put the, this in half. And we'll put one on here like this. And then we'll just put it on the bottom here. A lot of you have a ton of <laughs> all kinds of scrapbook stuff. Get it out. Make one of these. I love these little bees. They're so cute. But you can make, if you wanted to, special ones like this. You could make these. So make a bunch of them. They would be easy to make. And I know I'd use these in the summertime journals and in mixed media, I'll use these. Butterflies, hearts, there's some pretty leaves. Now these are mostly summer, so I probably won't use these ones. March, now here's, here's some um, hellebores. Now they come up in March, so I could put these in. I'm all about flowers, guys. Let's see. These can be um, tipped in, so you could write on the back one with black or white ink. Little dragonflies. Now, we could make some of these. That would be an idea for um, a stream, is to make a bunch of these for using in, the, in these types of books. If I use flowers in mine, there will be a weed, a weed <laughs> on each page. <laughs> Weeds are flowers. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Good heavens. I know in the uh, here anyways, I, I nearly fell over when I saw it. Um, I went to a nursery and they were selling goldenrod. Of all things, goldenrod. They were selling it. <laughs> like, are they nuts? You can go to any field or roadside and get it. Oh my God, I wouldn't put goldenrod. That stuff takes over. So these are pretty much spring and summer. So I'm not going to put these in, but I will use this one. I think that would look pretty. Not many flowers growing down here. Sure you do. You have camellias. You have rhododendrons. You have all kinds of really uh, unusual stuff that we don't have. Azaleas. I have little red flowers on my crown of thorn brushes. There you go. Your crown of thorns. See, we can't grow that here. I've always loved the azaleas and rhododendrons and camellias and um, jasmine, 
orchids. Beautiful stuff down there, Eileen. I would go nuts with the orchids. <laughs> I'd have a real bad problem with if I lived down there because my place would be <laughs> jam-packed full of orchids. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one. I think I'm going to go like this. And that way... So I don't use a lot of um, wet glue. I use the glue stick and it, it does fine. I like the Yoohoo because it seems to stick a little more. You don't have problems. So when I would be writing on this page, I could write all in here and it's separated by this flower. And then this would be another day. So there's not a lot or a by chance that one day had a whole lot that went on, I could do the whole thing. So I can either just use washi tape across here. Now see, I have a little bit of pink in here, so that's worked out really well. So, I could use maybe something in the corner here. Maybe a face. I could draw something. Um, see, I went on Pinterest and got a bunch of different faces that um there's a good one because a lot of people get colds at that time of year this i just like the black and white graphics of it and these are all from uh my magazines i i just love these eyes <laughs> it was on pinterest <coughs> you could um use these <laughs> and then put a word beside it and how you were feeling that day <laughs> that's what i was thinking so you, you know like really <laughs> i think this would be cool that's why i typed these or uh, printed all these out <laughs> poems Snowflake. See, this was from, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Daphne's Diary. I love their books. They are a little expensive, though, but I love their books. We can't get them here. They're very difficult to find here. I think I had to order them from the UK. I have these two. Those are cute. Skiing stuff. That's pretty too. Birds. I have all these birds that I cut out. Pictures. kind of cool. The owl. 
should be right there. <laughs> this one was cool too. Found these. <laughs> Look at the expressions on the face. It's so cool. So that would be neat. These would be good for when you, you're, you are writing something and you're really angry or whatever and you can put the face with it. this book too stickers art seasons got this all at um chapters it's got some neat um watercolor look and you can use them for um, your books This would be neat to try and do too, to paint in watercolor. Or you could use these in, in your the books that you, you guys are doing too. And just, um, if you don't wanna find stuff in magazines, just use the page and you could still do your writing in between. Or try and do these in watercolor. I think they're so pretty. You should try to do so, some of these. Um, see if we can do them on maybe sticker paper. That would be neat. Here, see, those are all, um, these ones that I went through aren't stickers. These are the stickers. So you could add these to this, but I, I would probably use those for full pages or keep them for um, making your own stickers. Yeah, I don't like the ones with this stuff all around them either. I thought these were so pretty. Nice big ones. It gives you ideas for this type of um, journaling if you want to do this type of thing. make your own that's cute you can make your own plants they've got different uh, leaves and that type of thing I think it was cute let's put a bird where did I see it there these cute little birds I could put that one on Now it does have white around it, but we could cut that out. Let's cut it out. And then we'll just draw on the beak and the feet. I 
These would be really easy to do. Is that something you guys would like to try is make these for stickers? Then you could, uh, we could make a whole bunch of pages and then you just print them off on your um, printer. Your game? I really like that loose look, too. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's very, very easy to do. It's all one stroke, basically. That's um, probably crayon over top. Yeah, we'll do some of those. There. So there's one page. Now you can add more after you do your um, journaling. Like um, that's what I did. Some pages are more um, filled with words than than others. Like here. Um, so I drew this winter scene here, but added extra stuff just to either separate the day or um put the the date on use a scrap piece of paper um put some stickers on that type of thing <laughs> gelatos come on <laughs> you're funny all right so that's a good one then this one it's not sticking Let's see. We got these types of stickers. Maybe we could do March here. Let's get them. And your catalogs are great. Use the pictures on the on the can make them into whatever. Because how do you attach vellum to a page? Um, probably with tape or um, maybe staple. depending on how you want it to look. Um, but if you got a really, really sticky tape, you could, you could use that. like to cut out stuff and then throw them in here so I've got you know different maybe you could also use bits and pieces here's a good one <laughs> you could make your own too um, that would be a good one for um, February. You can make your own little people out of different stuff. 
That's fun to do, too. See, there's a vellum. are cute. You could use some of these for a border. And I like making little um, characters out of the heads of, of people and stuff. <laughs> here, wait a minute. I think I've got some here. make borders like that could be a neat border Here's one that would be neat, cut out. Oh, here's some smaller ones. See, here's <laughs> here's one I made. The character out of um, I think that was lipstick or something pouring out of a bottle or no, it was um, nail polish pulling pouring out. So I just put a top part of a lady. And I just put, I don't know what those are supposed to be, but then our little feet on the bottom. <laughs> so, you know, I can make all kinds of silly characters. There's another one. <laughs> I got to zoom out. There. So the head and the neck, that's, that's um, nail polish. So it's my version of it. I like doing those. They're fun. Papers. These are cute. They already have March on them. And you can, uh, could use those in here. Tip them in. All right. Let's put one of these girls in. Maybe this one. I don't want something too big in here. Just fussy cut. So this get that definitely gets your creativity stirred up when you do this stuff. It's fun.
And because you're not, um, it, it doesn't have to match anything other than color. That's the only thing I'm matching. But as far as topic, it doesn't matter. As far as what I'm writing, it doesn't matter. It's just something to fill the page, something to give it interest. Now, if there's maybe something that very memorable, maybe you would want to add a little something that would would be about the topic you're going to write. There's really no rules. Okay, so we'll, we could put her there. Um, perennials, yeah. Look at, look at your perennial books or um, magazines, catalogs. Um, I'm going to put her right here in the center. And I think I'm going to put a little bird. Or that B. Where did I find that B? Remember the B we had? I think he was in here. Yeah. B. Where did it go? Here, it's flying away. Yes, I mean, you can put them in an area where not much grows and leave them to do their thing. You can also put a couple planters. Oh, bee balm. Yeah, they're great. Yep, they'll spread. They'll do their thing. They smell nice. They last a long, long time. You can get them in all shades of red, pink, white, purple. I think there's now like a coral color. Yeah, her specialty trained. And just for Eileen, <laughs> I'm going to put a face on her. She's going to have a smile. And then I'm just going to put a little dot for nose and just little, little eyes like that. There you go, Eileen. She's got a face. So we can put uh, now I'll just put March for these two but I'm not going to put the March title on the ones after that just in case I don't have anything to say <laughs> and it's not March anymore so I'll just do the first two and then the next one all oh, maybe this is going to be I don't know could be April Now you can put um, more stenciling on. It's really up to you. Let's, uh, I'm really quick with doing the stenciling because I don't want to. Um, Let's do this is a dabber thing. Yeah.
Now, if this doesn't go on all proper, I don't really, it doesn't bother me. Um, because it's just to put some color on my paper. I can add more color if I want. If you're doing this, um, it's a little easier just to stick to a maximum of uh, three, three colors. Um, once you get into, you know, a whole bunch of colors, it kind of gets too busy, especially after you start adding um, ephemera of some sort. There. Now the April, oh, this could be March too. You don't know. So I'm going to probably just, hmm, what can I do now? Maybe lay some, um, napkins on it I could do that too um I could do stamping just looking at my stuff here so I have a ton of stuff maybe stamps Now, I've got a, a bunch of stamping of um, on tissue paper. Do a bunch of them, and then you can use them like this. Now, with this, I would use the um, matte medium because you want it to. This is the deli, and I find the deli tends to. Um, resist sometimes so you kind of have to get something that's going to really stick it down I think I'm going to put it in the crease like this so get a little bit of matte medium out Got another huge mess. Eileen, you must be happy. I need a good brush to put it on. Here's all my matte medium brushes. Hmm. either but it's gonna have to do all right and when I do my tissue papers I always use um, permanent ink so it doesn't come up when I put it down seems to disappear more when you use the matte medium than a glue stick, for me anyways. 
Um, that's a good way to use your stamps too. Um, that way you've got sheets of it already stamped out. You just have to cut it out. Instead of, you know, leaping through all your stamps to see what you got. This way you've got to, it shows what you have. Um, what ink do you use on these? I use the um, archival ink by um, Ranger. Any of the ink, dot, you know, the dye-based, like this is one. And then I've got, like, the old, <laughs> the old ones, <laughs> different. Uh, I think they've changed their, their um, <laughs> cases five times now. <laughs> See, this, this type. Then it never, never, uh, <laughs> I know it's old, <laughs> but it still works. It still works. <laughs> and you just make sure you dry them before you close your book. Yeah, so you can do all kinds of stuff. It just uses up everything then, too, which I like. So let's see, maybe springs. So we would have all kinds of <clears throat> narcissus and um, snowdrops, that type of thing. You know, you could put a border in of tulips, maybe. Let's see if we got some borders of tulips we can put in here. Or we could make a, a little girl, a tulip girl. That would be cute. Let's try that. We need a nice shape tulip. Um, yeah, that's to be a fair size, not too big though. This one here. 
Christmas tulip. So fussy cut it. Now we can draw it or you can get um, a magazine image and find some legs or the head or body part of the girl. Okay, so we've got that there. See. See, you could almost do this, use the body of that too. You could use the fish head. You, could, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Let's see, I got magazines here. Let's do a magazine one so I can show you. Um, let's see what I got here. too big. Yeah. This won't work. Just let me get a magazine. L magazine. So we can find now it doesn't necessarily it doesn't have to be um, the head and body together. You could use two different things. Um, And it can be, doesn't even have to be a head, like a body of something. It could be t lipstick. That could be the, the body. It could be um, a purse, jewelry. It's kind of like, well, it is collaging, but um, could you use these ones here? Part of her. I need a fairly small body because We could make her top part in something else too. Let's see. What can we find? You can have bigger heads, smaller heads. Um, her she actually you could probably just put that right over top and just cut it
I've always loved this style of um, <laughs> playing with figures. Um, uh, well, what's her name? The one that first came out with it. I um, can't think of her name. You guys know what it is. Oh. Yeah, I'll put her on this side. And her legs. You can either have them short, you can make them real long. <laughs> you can make it real short. No, not Diane Reevely. Um, oh, she had a stroke, a really bad stroke uh, last year or the year before. I can't think of her name. Tracy? No. Um, you want a fish head? Let's see. Let's see if we can find a fish head. I know I've got a fish book. Sales alert, Michael's having their semi-annual clearance event on now. 80% off. <laughs> oh, that's not it. All right, I found it. You could use these for parts of the dress, too. I have to be the right fish head. Turtle head. I think these are all too big.
You could do birds, dog head, anything really. Um, I think I have a dog head somewhere. Well, let's just use use this. Maybe we can put um, I don't know wings on her or. Yeah, they always have big, big sales. But I have enough. Don't need any more. Got a new gown on, new dress. Never know, it might come in fashion. <laughs> then we could put flowers on her hair, or let's see, I think we got. a belt could have that too Butterfly <clears throat> on her head. that what if I got any leaves in here could use some leaves
So you could fix it up more if you want to use marker on it, all kinds of stuff. And this one we can put Maybe it's just a border of something. Tear out something. Use borders. Sometimes I like tearing stuff out. Sometimes I just put the whole thing in because I like the color so I'm using this one because this had black in it so we'll just put it on like that. Connect the page with, have it come on to the other page. Just cut it there so it doesn't rip eventually. Stick it down there. And then we'll just put this one up here. And then I can write going around it would look cool. So then you just cut this excess off. So you can put the date, the date up here, when it, whatever it's going to be, and then I can start um, writing in a circle type thing right here. So I'll just leave that for now because I can add more to it as I go. I think we can, now we want some red and orange maybe over here somewhere. And since it's, uh, could be March, could be April. So...
you, here's bits that you could use in this. I could make another Although it's got the black, so I'm going to keep the black. These. I could put. Well, let's use some vellum. <clears throat> could use that. And then. You, what you do is you can either write on the vellum or you can write on the paper and the vellum will kind of hide it a bit. Or let's see what else we got here. Butterflies. I don't know if I want butterflies though. Or I could use the paper, the leaf. What do you think? Or I could put it on this part here. So it's just in between. That might work. Hmm. Because it's got the green here. So. That's what I'll do. I'm going to I think I'm going to cut it. Let's see. Right. It doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to cut around some of these leaves. And have a uneven border, I guess you would say. So the leaves are partly cut out. Mm. 
I like that. I'm going to have it like that, and then you can open it. So, we'll have to tape it. And what kind of tape do I want to use? I need something very sticky. So... packing tape, clear packing tape. If I can find the end. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Really? Put this on. And then before I put that over, I'm going to put another piece of washi tape on the other side. And yellow. So, let's see. This one. Just so that once it's on, they still have some color underneath.
You're welcome, Sophia. Wash tape on there, although you would see through it. I might put some more max of this on. I'll just cut it in half. Once it's uh, closed for a while, it'll hold down. Um, I like this vellum paper, but I know if I buy it, I won't use it. <laughs> you will if you're, you're going to do this type of thing. It looks really pretty in um, books. Kind of a bold flap. Okay. And then you have this side. Now, because I put tape down here, I'm probably going to put another line of washi. Where did I put that? All right. I just lost my washi tape. But I just, oh, here it is. So double. And then I can continue with uh, this page in the browns and golds and maybe, I don't know, pink. So it's just a matter of um, spraying and adding a few, just a few things, not a whole lot. And then once you start writing in, you can add more pieces, maybe to something that's related to whatever you wrote but it's fun and you can add, even uh, like a lot of times I would use uh, where is it just pieces here 
pieces of um, scrap paper from the borders of the magazines. Um, paper, see, I just bordered. That's from a, a fabric catalog. <laughs> this is from uh, my uh, chicken that I bought. I was wrapped around it and I just put art journaling over top of it. Stamping. There's some more paper that I used up. Paper. More paper. So it's basically junk. I guess that's why they call it junk journaling. All right. So that's it for me. I hear the puppies are giving my son a hard time. <laughs> but uh, I, I really enjoy this type of thing. Mind you, it's not a great thing to stream about because it takes time to do stuff. Um but I think a lot of people enjoy this type of thing. But I would like to start doing more drawing for this type of thing. Maybe, um, you know, the faces and maybe expressions. Flowers like this one I drew. It was tax season. <laughs> That's how I felt. But, uh, yeah, so um, let me know what you think. If you want to see more of this or do you want me to maybe do more drawing for this type of thing, um, for making these stickers type of things for journaling, then we could do that. Thanks, Angel. This was great, Cass. Love the ideas. It was fun. Oh, great. I'm glad you liked it. It's always, you know, kind of hard to know what to um, do. <laughs> That's not going to bore you to death. But I like to show you what I've been doing. So it gives you guys some ideas on um, how you can keep your creativity going, even though you may not feel like drawing or painting so it's it's still being creative and that's what I like so I guess I'll let you guys go and um, have a great rest of the week and we'll see you on uh, New Year's Eve I guess um, I'm not sure who else is streaming uh, later on this week, but uh, I'm sure we'll see you around. So have a great weekend and um, stay creative.